Hi everyone, and let me introduce to you to my uh, shifter card. I know you guys are sand railers. I am too, actually. My sand rail is right there. But uh, my shifter card is an older American shifter card, and uh, I've got a setup that is pretty quick, pretty sweet, actually. Sorry. Uh, I have a real pedal shifter like you have on cars, on racing cars, on, on my Audi TT, actually. Um, it is really sweet. This is an older card, huh? This is a, I don't know, 15 years old card. Um, CR125 Honda, obviously, uh, shifter, and I just couldn't stand getting my hands off the wheel. It goes so fast. I just like to control it as, all the time. And I was used in um, in some other racing uh, with my stepfather about the shifter. So uh, I've got that set up right here. So you have a rod right here. You can see it. It's a bar. And I've got a picture, it's a bar that is curved. It's attached directly to the column right, you see, right here. I don't know if you can see it well. Yeah, right here, okay? Um, yeah, right there. It completely attached to the column right here, the pedal shifter. On one side only, you have a rod that is connected to a push and pull cable. The push and pull cable, at the end of the rod, when they connect together, is attached also to the column, so it rotates with it. You just give it enough length, you know, it's pretty lengthy, so when you rotate it just doesn't get stuck, you know, uh, which is pretty easy. Now it goes all the way to the back, and you have another, and you have pictures of it, uh, another push rod set up right here. That goes to the gears that are right there with a little special pad, uh, I mean, clip, and then at the end right here, also you can see my finger right there, uh, another clip, uh, you know, another attachment, basically, uh, tab for um, where the push and pull cable comes in and then the rod takes over, basically. It is super simple, it is super efficient, and I really love it. The reason is, I've tried before to keep it off, you know, uh, so it stays in position, all right, but that would bother my hands when I turn some time, you know, and get stuck. I hated it, frankly. Now, it's always with me. It is awesome. I've never had a problem, and I swear, it's one of the sweetest thing on the planet. It's so cool, but actually, that's why I'm showing you guys that. I'm going to make one for my rail, because I think every rail, it's, a, it's just a, um, a mini buggy uh, with an actual uh, Barra 100 student stuff that has been modified with an RM250, and I will put that on, and I'll put pictures when I'm done with it. All right, take it easy.